Hey, it's Michael Quinn here at Flavors of New York. We're at Shades of Green, a place that was once a legendary live music venue. Let's find out all about it. Come on. Hey, thanks, Al. Hey. Good to see you, man. Nice, nice, nice to have you. Sure. Right. Hey, everyone here. I'm here with uh, J.P. Cormican. Yes. How are you guys? Owner of Shades of Green. Now, you know me. I'm a sucker for a good Irish pub. I live in the area, and this place I pop in from time to time, but this has an extraordinary history with music, this location. Tell me a little about what you know about it. Yeah, so um, my father opened here in 1991. Uh -huh. um, he originally came over from Ireland in 1968 and he bartended before opening here. Uh -huh. And I believe it was Tramps for... 1975. 1975. To 1990. To 1990. I know. And, <laughs> and then in 91, my dad opened here. Yes, that makes sense. Yes. From 90 to 91. Now this place, Tramps, uh, I remember years ago, uh, Terry Dunn was the owner. Yes. And his brother. And this place housed, I mean, they would house the musicians, blues artists from around the world, some of the most famous names in the business. He would actually let them stay upstairs here. Yes. while they had their residency here at Tramps. But it's most famous for, it's most famous for, and you can see this in a documentary by Martin Scorsese called Personality Crisis One Night Only, David Johansson. David Johansson on Mondays would perform for the musicians because it was their night off. Okay. And that's when that's right. he came up with the character, the persona, the nom de guerre of Buster Poindexter. And he would play on the stage, which is still there in the back. Yep, the stage is still there. And of course, shortly after playing here, it was a big hit. Um, a song called Hot Hot Hot. He did a rendition of that, and basically every bar mitzvah wedding, you hear that song. Okay. So all that came together here at this location, in the back room right here, and the stage is still there. Phenomenal music history. Yes, a lot, then, of, a lot of history. A lot of history. And you said you had met the owner before, uh, Terry, or you knew? Yes, so uh, Terry would have been friends with my father. Your father, okay. And then uh, I've met Terry a few times over the years. Lovely man. Mm -hmm. um, but again, that was a bit before my time. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So there's history in the walls, and actually Keith Richards would show up here and jam, and I mean, you could find all this footage of this stage on YouTube. So you have all that history here, then your dad takes over, becomes an Irish pub. Yes. So what was your dad looking to do with it? I mean, he shied away from the music, but it, did he want to make it some, somewhat to where he came from in Ireland? Like, kind of like, you know, what did he think of when he started, when he opened this place? How did he want to operate it? Yeah, so when he first opened, he just wanted to make it like a welcoming pub, mm -hmm. and he just wanted to make everybody have a good time and relax. Mm -hmm. um, good neighborhood pub. Yeah. And like I said, he came over in 1968, and he bartended in various places in New York City. Mm -hmm. And then he was in touch with a friend of his and said, you have to open a place here, have to open a place. And they said, this would be a good location. Mm -hmm. And it was in 1991. Mm -hmm. And then the rest is kind of history. We've mm -hmm. been here over 31 years now. Nice. What do you think of the neighborhood here? I mean, it's obviously very busy. New Union Square, New Gramercy Park, Third Avenue is bustling. What are the customers like? Do you have like a day crowd? Do you get a night crowd? Like, what, what type of people you have to come in here? Yeah, so we actually we get a very eclectic crowd here. Um, mix of all kinds of people. We host a sports group on a Wednesday night. And then we also have a college football team. But then around the corner, we have a concert venue, Irving Plaza. Mm -hmm. So there's all different bands there throughout the year. So we get all different kind of clientele. And then you have, you know, people that live in the neighborhood and people that work in the area. Yeah. And there's not too many neighborhood Irish pubs anymore, you know? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Can we talk about the drink menu? Like what do you yep. have on tap and some, what do you serve there as far as beverages and, and alcoholic uh, drinks? Yeah, so we have uh, 10 beers on draft. And obviously Guinness would be our number one seller. We move a ton of it. and. Then we have a basic cocktail list. We have uh, Mexican Sunset, that's one of our signature cocktails. And, you know, bottled canned beer, and just your basic kind of stuff, but a good mix of everything. All right, here we go. Excellent. So I have a really good Guinness joke, but I'm not gonna tell it here. I'm gonna wait till the, you know, the segment, but it's too long for this type of segment. But let me try this on. All right, I'm enjoying. Mm. Oh, that's a good Guinness. Oh my god, I feel like I'm in Dublin. There you go. My grandmother would be proud. So what do you have on the menu here? Like, do you want to see a menu or? Uh, well, just give me a list. But yeah. Tell me what you have. Like, tell, tell me in detail what you yeah. have on the menu. So uh, we have burgers, sandwiches, we have a variety of appetizers, and then we have the traditional Irish dishes. And I would say definitely our most popular dish would be probably our bangers mash, and I would say our Gaelic burger. Also, we do a good chicken pot pie. But my personal favorite would be the bangers and mash. Bangers and mash. Ah, now we're talking. Tell me a little about this burger. 
Well, that, that's what kind of bacon? It's, uh, what kind of bacon is that? So we got some Irish bacon on your wow. garlic burger, some uh, sautéed onions there. Nice. A little cheddar cheese. And I love this. I, listen, I love all these toppings, so I'm going to put a little pickle on it if you don't mind. Yeah. I love problem. raw onion. I'm a raw onion guy, just like my grandmother was from Dublin. All right, there um, you go. That'll Enjoy. Enjoy. For now. I'll have a salad later with that. <laughs> and uh, put a little ketchup on top. I'll take a bite out of this baby. Yeah. Looks like a good burger. Some no. Irish bacon. Yeah. Won't go wrong. Uh -huh. Oh god. Wow. That's a good burger. Very good burger. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Juicy, flavorful. Thumbs up. Excellent. Now what else is on? Is it, where are you putting the meat? Is it pepper or seasoning? So we just do a bit of um, little salt pepper mix, a little garlic powder on it, mm -hmm. and then just right on the grill. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. a nice fresh bun. Mm -hmm. And some Irish bacon. Nice. Can't go wrong. Absolutely. I highly recommend this. Excellent. That looks like a pretzel. Is that a pretzel? That's your New York style pretzel New York style there. pretzel. Looks good. There you go. What kind of mustard you got there? We got a little mix of a spicy mustard with a bit of Coleman, some Irish mustard. I know Coleman very well. All right, there you have our bangers and mash. Mike. Wow, that's delightful. I know this is your favorite dish here. It is indeed. Tell us a little about it. So you got your whipped mashed potato, the Irish bangers, the sausage, some Heinz baked beans, and a little sauteed onions on top of it. Wow. Let me get this first. This, I don't know, I'm supposed to dip it in here? Yeah. Some yeah, salt. yeah. My potatoes. It's hot. All right, I think it's hot, right? That's great. Yeah, that's delicious. Very good. We've been serving that dish for since we opened in 1991. Oh. Yeah, that's a little cool down a little bit. So I love an old school New York pretzel with mustard, obviously. That's the way to go. Very right, good. Nice touch. This is great. I love this Irish spare. Bangers and mash, 100% right. This is absolutely great. fantastic. The burger is an absolute grand slam. Yep. Make sure you come here for the drinks, the Guinness, Falsha. Cheers. Thank you for coming, guys. Thanks, Flavors of New York City. JP Cormack the owner. Yep. Take care. Michael Quinn, Flavors of New York, or Shades of Green. Check it out.